ಓಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತಿಮಿರಾಂದ ಸ್ಯಾಘನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುಮಿಲಿತ ಮೇನ ತಸ್ಮಾಯ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌರವೇ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚುಲಂ ಪಾಂಗೋಂ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಗಾಯತೆ ಗಿರಿಂ ರತ್ ಕ್ರೀಪಾತ ಮಹಮಾಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಂ ದೀನ ತಾರಣ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಿಷ್ಠಾಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಕಾಸ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿ ನಾಮನೆ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಿಷ್ಠಾಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿ ನಾಮನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೇ ಗೌರವಾನಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣೆ ವಾಂಚಕಲ್ಪತರೂಪ್ಯಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿನುಬೇವ ಚ ಪತಿತನಾಂ ಪವನೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇವ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಶಿರೂಪ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸನಾತನ್ ಬಾತರ ಗುಣಾಥ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಜೀವ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಬಾತರ ಸರ್ಗುನಾಥ್ ಏ ಚಾಯ್ ಗುರು ಕಾರಂಚಾರ ನಮ ದೋನ ಹೋಯ್ತೆ ವಿಘ್ನಾಶ್ ಅಭಿಷ್ಟ ಪುರಾಣ ಕಥಾಂಚನ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ದುಷ್ಕರ ಸುಕರಂ ವೇದ್ ವಿಸ್ಮೃತೆ ಪರಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತಾನ್ಯ ನಮಾಮಿ ತಾಂ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತಾನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶಿವ ಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಶ್ರೀದೇವಿ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಬಿ ಥ್ರೂ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಬಿ ಹರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ some uh, some mysteries <laughs> it's called that uh, success is not a mystery it's a recipe and now we will see the recipe if you apply the recipe then uh, will be become successful in in whichever endeavor we will do in our life for example we will speak about the regulation something about relation krishna speaking already in bhagavad gita then for more details uh, krishna is giving hint to arjuna using instruction arjuna you have to approach the guru <laughs> the guru will tell you details they are giving just the like some overview of some uh, directions and details will give you the spiritual master for example in sixth chapter Krishna speaking about the regulations of re- regulation of our eating sleeping recreation and work and there Krishna is speaking about the uh, the quantity of these activities not not when to do it <laughs> not he didn't give specific time when to do it or how uh, how to do it exactly about just the just the uh, quantity i will just read these two uh, shlokas for for uh, <coughs> purification for auspiciousness this is six chapter 16 and 17 this is the lifestyle of yogi we are bhakta yogis and uh, krishna speaking takes 16 to arjuna natya snata sto yogosti nay chai kantam anashnataha nachati sapna shila sya jagrato nayva charjuna translation There is no possibility of one's becoming a yogi or arjuna if one eats too much or eats too little sleeps too much or does not sleep if enough the purport i will just first sentence i read a regulation of diet and sleep is recommended herein for the yogis let's take 17 yukta harasya viharasya yukta chesta sakarva su yukta sapna vabodasya yoga bhavati dukha ha here krishna is speaking the relation he who he who is regulated in his habits of eating sleeping recreation and work can mitigate all material pains by practicing the yoga system the purport for sentence extravagance in the matter of eating sleeping defending and mating which are demands of the body can block advancement in the practice of yoga the but directly about regulation when and uh, when to do it how to do it how to be regulated in our life 
this is this is Brahmachari Krishna Koshan, maybe some have read this book. It's not only for Brahmacharis, means, um, <laughs> for men's, those who are souls who are in, in uh, men's body, but for also women's body, also Vulgihas, all Ashravas, yeah, because we are all Brahmacharis <laughs> in Krishna consciousness. Uh, <clears throat> he's speaking this is about regulation, special, uh, this is the <clears throat> page 39. I will just read, then we open the discussion. There are some questions, suggestions, realizations. This is titled Regulation. Please read this uh, here very carefully. Regulation means to do the same thing at the same time every day, or if not at exactly the same time, at least in the fixed sequence based around an approximate schedule. For instance, a devotee may be regulated to rise by 3.30 a.m. but and chant a few rounds before Mangala Arati, to eat his main meal at midday, and so on. Such regulation helps to fix the, te- the determination and to get off the mental platform. A devotee with a fixed time to rise does not think, I'm too tired, or I'm, or it's too cold. He just gets up. He does not have to think what to do next. He just sticks to his schedule. Regulations, regulation helps to keep the mind peaceful and makes for the most ef- efficient use of time. Without regulation, life tends to become chaotic. Most importantly, Regulation is the basis of steady sadhana. Without regulation, proper sadhana is impossible. For physical health also, it is good to sleep and rise, eat, evacuate, and shower at fixed times every day. In our temples, devotional programs and prasada timings are fixed. So if we simply follow the temple programs and take prasada, with the devotees, that much, that much we will automatically be regulated. It, it is more difficult to be regulated when traveling, but it is possible. Srila Prabhupada followed a regulated schedule despite constant travel. Uh, here is some, maybe some remember some uh, highlights. For example, regulation means they do this, we do, first we do these two options, we do same things at same time every day, or we follow like sequence, whenever, it depends, né? for example, all se- sequence at the same time, first, we, for example, we wake up, you shower, you chant, like this, né? and other things, following, you have some order, some schedule, this is, this, is, this is one thing, then what is important, because we cannot practice, you know, we cannot advance the devotional life, uh, we cannot face challenges, we are all the time disturbed, we all, our mind is not peaceful, uh, <laughs> and uh, we can do service properly and also affect our health, physical health, say psychological health, and also spiritual, we, we cannot advance, this is very important, that is, is very talented. we become, become of the mental platform, because we can practice Krishna consciousness on mental platform. But it's very painful <laughs> it's to be mental. <laughs> mind is squeezing us, the mind. <laughs> we have to mind properly engage with. Uh, <coughs> but, uh, and also, uh, Prabhupada once said also, uh, first is health, then sadhana, then service. Service, and then everything connected with regulation. Regulation, the peace most important, here is written, regulation is the base of steady sadhana. Mm-hmm. And steady sadhana is steady advancement, the devotional service. Mm-hmm. And also, this according to our ashram, uh, regulation depends on our ashram also. Then our, uh, uh, for example, we are Gihasa, we have different, different kind of regulation. When we are inmates in, in uh, temples, different regulations. We are traveling preachers, or different, or depends on our engagement. The different regulation, but some, we have to try our best to be regulated. <laughs> regulated 
do our best must be to be regulated best in in particular time place or circumstances you know, this, that we can advance uh, in the world of service we can we can progress our life otherwise we will unnecessarily create troubles for ourselves and others also <laughs> and here we also end this uh, introduction now some questions some suggestions some doubts or whatever we will try to clarify yes please Mataji. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you for taking the time and trouble to uh, impart this knowledge to us. Um, as you said, it's very important for us to get regulated. Now, I would like to share uh, some difficulties and hopefully you can shed some light on it. So, exercise is also a very important uh, component of our uh, physical health. And it's also impacting our mental and spiritual health because if we don't have proper physical health, we cannot do seva properly, we cannot do so many things properly. But early morning, which is the best time for exercise, is also the time for chanting. So how to uh, manage uh, exercising when the morning program is so uh, packed? There is no uh, time <coughs> for exercise. So how, how we can incorporate that into our schedule? Uh, for example, for everything we have to have plan. Mm. We have to make plan. For example, we want to improve health, we have to have make health plan. Mm. Uh, for example, if we need to find uh, some uh, some exercise, we have to make plan for exercise. We have to be put on the on the on the on, on the schedule mm. <laughs> on the paper. <laughs> so plan <laughs> whatever you want to do. We have to plan. We have to uh, just start thinking about. Then we, what we describe, for example, we have some fixed timings for others, some, some, some things are already fixed, yeah? fixed. And then the other things which are like extra, which help us to perform the worship service, then we have to find proper time, suitable time. We have to make, just like we are making experimenting. And then we see how it's affecting. Uh, we have to find for ourselves, our psychophysical condition, have to see which time is suitable uh, for us to do some things and when we have time we have to organize our life because we have 24 hours <laughs> in this in, in 22 hours 24 hours 24 hours we cannot put everything you know? <laughs> especially we are living in the age of distractions <laughs> yeah? Yeah, there are unlimited distractions we are practicing a life of distraction all these, all these equipments, yeah, uh, social media, um, smartphones, all those things, uh, become crazy. Yeah? <laughs> and crazy. Uh, therefore, we have to be uh, very disciplined. Yeah? Discipline, I mean, discipline, for uh, real discipline. Prabhupada uh, Gita is describing third chapter, third shloka, but Prabhupada is describing proper, like in military discipline. <laughs> <laughs> military discipline. Uh, uh, therefore, we have to, um, how to say, for example, I can, I can count few the what is called so regulated, unbelievably regulated. Uh, for example, um, here nearby we have Pralandana Plalanda, Swami Maharaj, His Holiness Pralandana Swami Maharaj. He is unregulated. Uh, Timings, yeah? times when we have some conversation, when I have some conversation with him, I have timing for 15 minutes. Or let's say aware of time. Uh, 15 minutes, it, time uh, stop. Uh, after every, every 15 minutes, is, is 30, 30, oh, 50 minutes. So we have still time, for example. We have 30 minutes discussion. After 15 minutes, he will time. Uh, and now it's 15 minutes have already spent. We have 15 minutes more. Mm. And, uh, all the time is aware of time. And other activities, exercising and waking and eating and all these other other things, yeah, is uh, is very regulated. Then another such example is Vijay Prabhu. Yeah, he is great Vijay Prabhu, our book which was minister. Then, for example, Radhesham Prabhu from Pune, India. Yeah, is an, uh, uh, then then Vaisheshika Prabhu, yeah, and. Uh, we can be, we can say uh, say so many other devotees, but uh, for these devotees have some insights <laughs> more. <laughs> uh, more, and then all, all these devotees 
when you hear their lectures, they're sharing their realizations, uh, what they're doing, how they're doing, when they're doing, and how it's important, these things, then you try to apply in your lo- our lives. Mm-hmm. And you just start slowly with small steps. Ne? Mm-hmm. With now regu- unregulated, we come regulated, then we see, we put on the paper, I want this and this, and we see what is, what is not, what is, uh, what is the obstacle challenge, while we are not regulated. Mm-hmm. Then we have to do what, what we can do with these things, for example. Ne? Mm-hmm. For example, I all the time, uh, for example, I cannot wake up early in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For example, if you if you ask, but Jerry is giving you a what? No, we can just sleep. Yeah. But the what the what is advice is different. Yeah. Maybe see why you not ca- why why you cannot wake up early in the morning. Maybe what doing before one day one day before, day before right. because next day start one one uh, yeah. night night before. Yeah. What's our consciousness? What is our consciousness before? Yeah, we, our first thoughts in the morning. It's very important. Yeah? We have this sandwich packet. Then Prabhupada gives a sandwich, mm-hmm. spiritual sandwich. Mm-hmm. And then, therefore, we have to present, then we can see what we can do. We have, we have sometimes we have night late preaching. Mm-hmm. Then the other, what well, is affected? <laughs> then, then you have to adjust. Then you have to see. I, I just heard this last lecture, Brother Sham Prabhu, he told, okay, I'm, I'm early, uh, I'm early uh, sleeper and early riser. He was here doing at 8.30, he going to take rest, uh, usually. Uh, 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 uh. Mm-hmm. He, he, he tell me this lecture, uh, uh, this is a little late for me, I have to. Mm-hmm. For example, for them, our spiritual master, is like His Holiness, Bhakti Maharaj, some pro- programs all the day. Okay, dear devotees, here will stop. Morning, uh, tomorrow morning, uh, Mangala Arati, we have to go take rest, and mo- tomorrow will be continue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for example, some they have to sacrifice, depends on Bhakti. This is just time management, eh? uh, and all other stuff. Then we have these four quadrants: uh, urgent, urgent, and important. Then uh, uh, urgent, not important. Then urgent, not important, and not urgent, not important. Uh, the, 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 this one, this first first quadrant is like passion. Second one is like satpaguna. And other other two, uh, three or four is tamaguna. Eh? <laughs> it's, uh, everything connected with the three modes of material nature also. Eh? or that is competition. Yeah? We have to come to Sattva Guna, or try to come to Sattva Guna. Everything is connected in this whole science. How to live Bhagavad Gita, this Bhagavad Gita and practice. Yeah. For example, all these uh, first three shlokas of the Shamrita, self for the sense control, then what is not good, what is uh, out of regulation is, is uh, kicking up out, ne? is uh, <laughs> distracting us. Yeah. Then uh, that shloka, what is favorable to accept, Mm-hmm. Yeah, for our devotion service or for our regulation, same thing. Yeah. Then you have beginner's guide, you know, then it's Vashishika Buddha, it's our family business, this whole chapter about sadhana, 40 ch- pages only about sadhana, strong sadhana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is connected. Yeah, you know. you must, you, your sadhana must be strong. That means that everything that I was means strong sadhana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. There's so many materials, enough materials, and we have to try to apply in our life to our best capacity.